Hey guys, my name is Ryan. And my name is Miska. Welcome to Of What Central. So about a week ago we did a video going over eSports stuff and a couple of you guys wanted to know a little bit more on where to get started with eSports. We thought we'd go over the ESL Atlantic Showdown a little bit more as it's the biggest event happening right now and it's one of the biggest events that's happening in Overwatch this year. So it's a good place to get started, find teams and to see what the scene is like as a whole if you're new to it. So in this video we're going to go over some general FAQ questions and giving you more insight on the event, how it's ran and of course the teams involved. The first question of course being, what is it? Well the ESL Atlantic Showdown is the first major Overwatch title on PC. The prize pool is $100,000 and the finals will be played at Gamescom. Is it open to just the pros? No, you and your friends can enter if you want. There's still the opportunity to sign up and see if you can qualify. You can check out the information in the description to find out how. So how do the qualifiers work then? Well, teams will have four opportunities to qualify to the finals. The first set of qualifiers started the week before last and will continue on throughout July. These will be split between US and EU servers to make sure that ping doesn't become an issue. The games will be in typical knockout format and the final four teams from that week of the qualifiers will go through to a final, which will go over in a second. Does that then mean that teams only have one chance to qualify? Well, no. Let's use the example of Creation Esports and Rogue as both teams were away playing in other tournaments as the first qualifiers were happening, so obviously couldn't take part in those week's qualifiers. The following week both teams qualified no problem. However, if they failed to qualify that week, then they would have two more chances. If they blow those two chances, then they won't qualify. Quite straightforward really. So what happens after that? So four teams go through a week per zone, leaving 16 teams in the EU final and then 16 teams in the US finals. Those 16 teams in each final will be knocked down to four, and then the four teams that qualified from the US and the four teams that qualified from the EU will be flown out to Gamescom and the winners will be decided there. In regards to the regional finals we know that the teams will be reseeded. Maybe the teams that qualified in the first week will go up against those that qualified in the fourth week as a form of advantage because they did it quicker. We're not entirely sure, once we know more information we'll let you know. So who's the favourite then? Well it's a good question actually. For us to go over genuine contenders we need to break down the teams off into their respective regions. For the US, Envious or Envy looks like the favourite to win the whole thing. Cloud9 are also a super strong team that could take the tournament if they bring their A game. As far as the other American teams, well, none of the other teams actually came close to these two teams in the qualifiers actually. In EU it's a little bit more balanced and the big hitting teams are Reunited, Creation Esports and Rogue, with the Dark Horses showing up as the likes of SG1. At this point it's too early to say who's really gonna qualify but, but let's see who qualifies, it's gonna be exciting regardless. So who is through already? So as we mentioned we've already had two sets of qualifiers, the second lot was last week and the first was the week before. So let's go through who is in the finals in August. For Europe the first qualifiers were Anox, Reunited, Misfits GG and SG1. And last week's qualifiers were Rogue GG, Melty Esports, Novel Gaming Blue and Creation Esports. For the US teams Envious qualified, no surprise, along with Northern Gaming's twin brother across the pond, Northern Gaming Red. Seagull's team Luminosity also qualified as did Cloud9. Week 2's teams were CLG, which is obviously a play of words for the CLG team, Team Liquid, Code 7 and Overwatch Veterans Nubris. So what are the rules then? Well we actually made a separate video and you can go check it out right now if you want but we're just gonna run through the essentials real quick. The games are best of 1s, 3s or 5s depending on how high you end up in the knockout stages and all of the games will have hero limits. All payload maps will also be decided by stopwatch if both teams complete the map. This means whoever does it quicker will win the point in that series. And that's it for this video, thank you very much for watching. Do like this video if you want us to do more esports content, but if you want to know more about the scene and the plays and the teams, then do look at one amongst Medi's content as that's kind of his area. But we really like watching esports in Overwatch, so we want to share that with you guys and hopefully get a lot of you guys interested in the scene as a whole. Thanks for watching again, take care, we'll see you next time.